Yes, the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Donkey of the day for Friday, April 10th. Good Friday goes to a Kentucky doctor named John Raidmaker. Or Rademaker. Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce nothing. Uh, salute to everybody who listens to us in Kentucky on 104.5 and 103.9, respectively. Uh, now, this local physician, John Rademaker, Radmaker, has been identified by Louisville Metro Police Department as a man who has been arrested and charged with four counts, okay? Four counts, including first-degree strangulation and harassment with physical contact. I know what you're thinking, okay? Uh, he did all that during a global pandemic with his highly infectious disease called coronavirus is running through people. Why is he not practicing social distancing? If you strangle someone, you are definitely violating the six-feet rules. So for someone to choke you out at a time like this, they had to be defending themselves, right? Someone they love had to be in trouble, right? Of course not. If it was something rational like that, he wouldn't be getting donkey today. Let's go to WLKY CBS for the report, please. This video may be disturbing to some. It shows a man shoving teenage girls. And then you see a woman holding down one of those girls' legs while she's over here. And the man forcing his hands around her throat. Oh my God! This was the moment things climaxed at the Norton Commons Amphitheater. WLKY News confirmed that the man in the video is a local physician. Witnesses say he and the woman he was with started cursing at them for improperly social distancing. According to this police report, it's being investigated as a first-degree strangulation case. The victim reportedly suffered minor injuries. We called Baptist Health officials. They told us the doctor in the video is an anesthesiologist for a company that works with Baptist. They say that he's currently on administrative leave pending an investigation. So let me get this straight. Uh, Dr. John Raidmaker, Rademaker, whatever the hell your name is, at a time when healthcare professionals are being celebrated and applauded for what they are doing to fight this invisible enemy named coronavirus, you decided to throw a middle finger to all that goodwill and attack a group of young women but not social distancing. A group of young women. Now, I think we should all listen to the experts. And up until this moment, because of the DR in front of your name, John, Rademaker, Radmaker, whatever the hell your name is, I would have considered you an expert. But if you're going to attempt to correct people about social distancing while you're outside, you should do it while you're social distancing. You should do it from six feet away, okay, from the person, all right? I'm looking at your mugshot. And I'm looking at the woman who was helping you. Clearly, she's a Karen. She was helping you attack these young women. And both of y'all, Look the age that can't handle to get hit with the Rona. You didn't choke this woman with gloves on. You didn't choke her with a mask on. You probably didn't wash your hands before or after you choked her. And you damn sure didn't use any Perel hand sanitizer, okay? The moral of the story is, if anyone should be practicing social distancing, it's an elderly man like yourself. Now, what if one of those young women were asymptomatic? What if that woman you choked out was asymptomatic, right? And she had the symptoms and wasn't showing. Now you catch Corona. Whose fault is that? yours because guess what if you see people not social distancing you know where you should tell them not to social distance from the comfort of your own home you can't chastise someone for for not social distancing and then confront them and push them and choke them especially a grown-ass man with a group of young girls and i'm gonna tell you something else this guy pushed one of the white girls but the girl he choked if my eyes don't deceive me was a young woman of color I'm pretty sure she was a black, a young black girl. So, of course, you would be quick to put your hands on her. Let me tell you something. I want anti-social distancers to practice social distancing. But if they don't, I'm not about to attempt to physically hurt them for it. Because all you could be doing is physically hurting yourself because you might get sick by being all in their faces, okay? And, and all this situation does is cause all of us to violate social distancing rules because this is how this works. Dr. John Rademaker or Rademaker. He sees some kids not social distancing. He violates social distancing rules by confronting them and pushing them and choking one of them. And then what if that young girl's father was around? Our uncle, our brother, our, our mom, aunt, our sister who had a licensed weapon, a licensed pistol on him. Or, or, or just knows how to take a man down physically. Now, they're going to violate social distancing rules for whipping your ass, John, which actually is what should have happened. I'm glad you got arrested which once again is causing uh, someone to violate social media rules because they got to put you in handcuffs and all that good stuff. And I'm glad you, you know, got placed on administrative leave from Baptist Health Louisville Hospital. But I really wish a man from that woman's family was around to violate social distancing rules and punch you in the face. Certain people just need their ass beat. No need to be diplomatic about it. Certain people just need a good old fashioned can of ass whipping, no matter the age. And Dr. John Rademaker, Rademaker, he seems like one of those people. You have reached a level of privilege 
When you have reached a level of entitlement, when you have reached a level of arrogance uh, to where you think you can be judge, jury and executioner because somebody is not doing something you want them to do, then you need to be knocked off your high horse and nothing knocks you off your high horse better than an accurate bare knuckle punch to the chin. And that's what this sucker, Dr. John Raidmaker or Rademaker, whatever his name is, that, who, who should have his medical license taken away, absolutely deserved. Uh, please let Remy Ma give John Raidmaker or uh, Radmaker, whatever the hell his name is, the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. Now, I'm be honest with you, I don't know why I'm doing this, uh, because it should be obvious, but let's play a game of guess what race it is now dr john raidmaker Rademaker. uh he's from kentucky these are your clues i actually gave you another clue inside the donkey today if you were listening but these are your clues dr john Rademaker. he's from kentucky sees a group of women not social distancing being anti-social distances he walks up to them and starts chastising them got his got his finger pointing at them he pushes one of them then chokes the lone black girl in the group dj envy guess what race it is White. What makes you say that? Finger pointing. Sound like it's just finger pointing. <laughs> finger pointing is definitely Karen-like behavior. That is Ooh, definitely white woman behavior. Finger pointing. Now, Angelie, Dr. John Rademaker, Rademaker, uh, from Kentucky, sees a group of women not social distancing, being anti-social distances, walks up to them and starts chastising them, points the finger at them, pushes one of them, and chokes the lone black girl in the group. Angelie, guess what? Race it is! Caucasian? You see why y'all both say that? He doesn't but, um, mind his business. He doesn't mind his business. Finger pointing. Mm-hmm. You know what, Angela E. DJ Envy? You're both correct. <laughs> Dr. It. John Rademaker, Radmaker from Kentucky is Caucasian! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. Mind your goddamn business, okay? Everybody, mind your business, all right? But especially white people. But mind your goddamn business. When you see somebody anti-social distancing, being an anti-social distancer, chastise them from a distance. Absolutely. This is not the way to do it. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.